Now at 5 a.m. on WKYT this morning, he led police on a multi-state search and then a multi-county chase here in central Kentucky. We'll have the latest on an FBI fugitive who police say has local, state, and federal charges to face. A man accused of committing Lexington's first homicide of 2015 is in court today for a preliminary hearing. We'll have the latest on the case. And a state senator has decided to withdraw a request to drop DUI charges against him. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT This Morning. Good morning and thanks for being with us on WKYT. I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Rebecca Smith. Going to be a nice day, I guess. Yeah. It's going to get up to what, a whopping 30 something? I don't well, at know. least we'll have some sunshine. You know, it's a cold start right now. You're right about that. We're in the teens. Let's check in with meteorologist Micah Harris in our first alert weather center. Good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be one of those days really, really good looking and really, really cold, too. I mean, we're going to be up there in the upper 30s to around 40 degrees. Now, it's not extremely cold, don't get me wrong, it's on the cool side, and that's actually just a couple of degrees below average, but it's still on the chilly side. Last guy camera, there's your shot. A lot of lights out in Hamburg you can see off in the distance, so no fog issue. You're going to have a frost issue, scraping it off of your windshields and whatnot. Temperatures are already sitting there at 14 degrees in Lexington. We'll finish off maybe 12, 13 degrees, and down toward the southern zones, we'll finish off in the teens for everybody. Today's forecast, 39 degrees, sunny but cool. And it looks like we'll take a break now, but then we'll pick up that action later on as we get off into the latter portion of the work week and off towards your Super Bowl weekend. Is that going to affect some of those plans? Well, I'll show you that forecast coming up. Okay, see you in a bit. Thank you, Micah. We go first this morning to a developing story we are tracking out of Estill County. Right, police right now investigating a deadly shooting. It happened at a home on Sugar Hollow Road late last night. One man is confirmed dead, and state police say they know who the shooter is. So far, they've not been able to make any arrests. We're tracking the story. We'll let you know new information as soon as it's available to us this morning. A multi state search for a kidnapping suspect led to a multi-county chase here in Kentucky. Robert Caldwell is suspected of kidnapping a man in Missouri and a girl here in Kentucky. He was arrested in Lincoln County yesterday. WKYT's Mark Barber is at our live desk with the latest on this case. Good morning to you, Mark. Good morning, Rebecca and Bill. Investigators say the kidnapping suspect wanted by the FBI was captured in Lincoln County after he forced a 13-year-old girl to get into a stolen Jeep at gunpoint and then led officers on a chase across several counties. Robert Caldwell is now facing local, state, and federal charges after he was arrested yesterday afternoon. The Lincoln County Sheriff says they started chasing the 25-year-old after he stole a Jeep in Casey County and then forced a nearby teenager to get into the vehicle. According to authorities, last week, Caldwell was involved in another kidnapping case in Kansas City. There, investigators say Caldwell forced a 67-year-old man to come with him when he stole his vehicle. We're told the man was able to escape near St. Louis, but authorities say they didn't find his van until Caldwell crashed it later in Bardstown. The five-day hunt for Caldwell ended around 3.30 yesterday afternoon in a cornfield across from the Lincoln County High School, when investigators say the fugitive couldn't run any farther. Cop car behind him, he locked it up, slid around in front of me, and took out a bunch of signs over here, went up through a yard, and tore that yard all to pieces, come around in front of the, this station here, right off that bank. Caldwell will be arraigned in Lincoln County on a long list of charges on Thursday. Police say they found the 13-year-old who was kidnapped were told she wasn't hurt. From the live desk, Mark Barber, WKYT. All right, Mark, thank you. A Kentucky state senator charged with DUI has now had a bit of a change of heart. Or at least he says he's changed his mind about a request made to a judge. On the first day of the 2015 legislative session, Senator Brandon Smith out of Hazard was charged with DUI in Frankfurt. His lawyer filed a motion to dismiss the charge based on a more than 100 year old Kentucky provision in the Constitution. It bans lawmakers from being arrested for misdemeanor offenses during a legislative session. But the senator says after negative feedback from constituents, he has decided to have that motion withdrawn. We don't want to be associated with anything with lowering the bar for us or somehow um, getting out of, uh, of, of guilt just simply by a privilege rule. Uh, so we're just asking him to withdraw it uh, so we can go forward with everything and let, like I said, just let the people see. Senator Smith says he has received threats and that his entire ordeal has been embarrassing and difficult for his family and for himself. He represents the 30th district and that covers much of southeastern Kentucky. 
Well, this morning, a man charged with stabbing his boyfriend to death will have a preliminary hearing. It was Lexington's first homicide of 2015, and now 20 year old Matthew Donahue is charged with killing 40 year old Todd Schumacher in their home on Lamont Drive. WKYT's Whitney Wetzel is live from District Court this morning with a look at the case. Whitney, good morning. Good morning. A man charged with stabbing his boyfriend to death is scheduled to have his second day in court this morning. 20 year old Matthew Donahue is accused of killing 40 year old Todd Shoemaker on January 18th. It happened in their home on Lamont Drive. Donahue was in court last week for his arraignment where he pleaded not guilty and a judge denied him bond. Donahue was already going through the court system on a care and treatment of animals charge from last October. Police say he put his roommate's canine in a hot oven causing multiple burns. Friends tell us that dog is the same one that Shoemaker reported missing just a few days before he was stabbed to death. Donahue's preliminary hearing is scheduled for 8.30 this morning. Live in Lexington, Whitney Wetzel, WKYT. Whitney, thank you. We're tracking the investigation into a bar fight that involved an EKU football player. Police say it happened Saturday night at Jersey's Lounge and Dance Club in Richmond. Police have not made any arrests. Richmond police tell us the fight involved football players from two different teams, but they will not say which teams. Now, our news partners at the Herald Leader report the injured player is EKU offensive lineman Colton Scurry. The newspaper reports that Scurry's father told them that he has a broken nose and facial fractures. In a statement, Eastern Kentucky University said that investigators are looking into the incident. EKU also said it may be related to a reported assault at Telford Hall on Sunday morning. Lexington police are looking for anyone at a weekend concert who may have witnessed a shooting. It happened early Sunday morning inside a facility on Floyd Drive. Rapper Kevin Gates was performing. Lexington police say shots were fired. Someone was hit in the leg. The victim had non-life threatening injuries. Police now want to talk to Gates because they think he may have witnessed the shooting. A well-known Kentucky lawyer is recovering from injuries that he received in an accident. Police say Darrell Isaacs was riding his bike last week in Louisville when a car hit him. They say the driver of the car couldn't see Isaacs because of the sun's glare. Isaacs has been in the hospital ever since. The Courier Journal reports he is now upgraded to fair condition. Isaacs is known as the heavy hitter and the Kentucky hammer in his commercials. Students at Harrison County High School are remembering a classmate killed in a crash. Investigators say Harrison County senior Bradley Beagle lost control of his car Monday and crashed on U.S. 27 in Pendleton County. He was seriously injured. His passenger, Harrison County senior Darren Williams, later died from his injuries. Grief counselors were on hand at the school yesterday. The Lexington Fire Department has a warning about a scam targeting pizza restaurants. Firefighters say someone pretending to be a firefighter called the Pizza Hut on Saron Drive, asking the restaurant to donate pizzas so they could be given to a family in need. But the firefighters say this man has nothing to do with the Lexington Fire Department. Investigators say that same person has also tried to scam other pizza restaurants in Lexington. Mm. Okay, it's eight minutes after five on WKYT this morning. Let's get a look of traffic this morning. See so what's going on bright and early. Here is Broadway and High Street where it looks clearer this morning. We have no reports of any major problems or delays early today. Uh, some construction uh, is getting started back after that little tough weather we had there at the beginning of the week. Uh, but uh, otherwise, uh, you're good to go this morning. Yeah, snow or construction. Take your pick, right? <laughs> That's right. It's always something this time of year. WKYT this morning just getting started on your Wednesday. A good Samaritan made this woman's day after finding her engagement ring and making sure it made its way back to her. Find out how the owner was found up next. Taking a break in the action now. It's very cold outside in the teens, but then the snow arrives later on this week. And I'll explain that forecast coming up.